Hello friends and welcome back to my channel Innovate Yourself. My name is Ashish Saini and in today's session we are going to cover the interfacing of Node MCU with a push button. And as you know in the previous session we have already done the connection of your Node MCU with your Arduino IDE so that you can write a program in your Arduino IDE for your Node MCU. So Accordingly, we have just done the blinking of LED in our last session, but we haven't done the explanation of your code. So don't worry, we will cover that as well in this session. And accordingly, we will just cover the interfacing of Node MCU with a push button. And accordingly, we will control our LED using the push button so that we can manually control the blinking or the glowing of your LED. So let's begin with that. So firstly, let's see what we have done in a previous session and accordingly, let's understand the code for the blinking of your LED. So let's go back to the code. So here's the code for your blinking of LED, which we have done in our last session. In this, you can see there are two functions. The first one is void setup and the second one is void loop. In the first function, which is the setup one in this, whatever you will write that will be run only once. And in the case of loop in there, whatever you will write that will be run repeatedly again and again. So the task which we need to write once was to define the pin, which we are going to use as an output. Like here we are having a pin as LED built in, which is a pin on which our built-in LED is connected and that we are going to use as an output pin because as you know in Node MCU we are having so many different pins and all those pins are known as GPIO pins which are general purpose input output pins input and output both at the same time that means we cannot use both at the same time so we have to define that how we are going to use that pin whether as an input or as an output so in this case we are going to use the pin number d4 which is directly connected to the built-in led for your node mcu so we are going to use it as your output pin so in that case we are just defining here led built-in as output so we have just written that and which needs to be defined only once so we have just written it inside the setup function and accordingly the thing or we can say the task which is going to be repeated again and again was the blinking of LED and what does the blinking means blinking means simply the turning the LED on then turning the LED off and just repeating the same thing again and again so here we are going to use the digital write built in comma high means we are just turning the LED off and just giving it a delay of 1000 which is a 1000 milliseconds or you can say for one second again we are writing digital write LED built in comma low that means you are just turning the LED on so this is the case and accordingly you are giving the delay so in short turning the LED off turning the LED on, turning the LED off, turning the LED on for one second each. So this is the step which is written inside the loop. So it will just repeat again and again so that you can see the effect of blinking of LED. So this is the way how you are going to blink the LED. But here you have seen you are writing LED built-in, LED built-in and LED built-in. And to write that where your LED built-in is connected or you can say to the pin which is connected to the node MCU we are going to write one more line which is this one so we are going to define that LED built-in is connected to the pin number D4 or you can say you can change this pin as well so in short you have to write this line which is the defining of your LED so the variable which is LED underscore built-in which is connected to the pin number D4 so wherever you will write LED built-in that means you are writing D4 so here D4 is being used as an output so we are just writing that and after that digital write LED built-in comma high that means you are just sending a high signal to your LED built-in pin which is connected to pin number D4 and accordingly you are just sending a low signal so you can just turn it on and off so this is just the blinking of LED right so this was a program which we have done in a previous session so this was a complete explanation of that and accordingly you can understand the code and one thing is clear to you that you have just written the code once and you are not able to control the LED 
or you can say you are not able to control when you want to turn the LED on or when you want to turn the LED off. So this is not in your hand. You are just writing the code and just uploading the code to node MCU and it is just repeating again and again the same thing which you have written inside your programming. But what if you want to control the LED on your own or you can say you want to manually control the LED so that you can accordingly turn the LED on and off. So in that case you need a switching device and that switching device is known as the push button which is one of the switching device and there are a lot more switching device apart from this push button but in today's session we are going to use the push button for this purpose. So in that case what we will do is we will just interface your push button with your node MCU so that whenever you will press the push button it will just turn the LED on or whenever you will just remove your hand it will just turn the LED off. So you just want to do that task in our today's session. So let's see how we can do that. So firstly you have to make the connections of node MCU and push buttons together so that you can accordingly control your LED which is connected to pin number D4 on your node MCU which is a built in LED right. So for that so this is a node MCU and we have to connect your push button this is a push button this is a node MCU so we just want to connect both of them together. So for that we are having a circuit diagram of it. So let's just go to the circuit diagram and let's see how to make the connections for that. So here is a circuit diagram for your node MCU with push button. So in here what you are doing is you are just making the connection in such a way. So this is the same connection but to make you more clear I am just showing you this picture as well so that you can accordingly make the connection. So in this what we are going to do is we are just connecting a pin number D4 to one of the pin of your push button and on the other side we are just connecting the other pin to the VCC or you can say directly the high volt which can be plus 5 volt or it can be plus 3 volt as well. So we have to connect it here and accordingly we are just using one resistor in between that resistor is just a pull up resistor so that by default you will get uh, ground signal and when you will press the button accordingly you will get a high signal which is a 5 volt so that you can accordingly get the two different values and further you can control the LED or you can say you can control the LED manually. So you have to make the connections. So here is the connection for the interfacing of your node MCU with a push button. So this is a push button. This is node MCU. So we are just connecting it together in which this is a pin which is connected to VCC which is this one this pin and this is a pin number D3. We are connecting this to pin number D3 so that I can get the input value in my node MCU from my push button so that whenever I will just press this button I will get a signal and accordingly I can control the LED connected here which is connected to pin number D4 and accordingly I am using one resistor which is a pull up resistor and I am giving it a by default value of ground or you can say a low signal so that I can accordingly get a by default value or you can say I am getting a by default value as zero signal so that whenever I will press a button my signal got changed changed from zero to one so that whenever I will get a signal as one that means my button is pressed whenever my button is not pressed I will get a by default value of zero which is coming using this pull up resistor so this is like that and here you can see we are having a push button and that push button is having a uh, four terminals one two three and four and there is one difference between this push button and the push button which is having a two terminals and the difference is the two terminals which is this one these are internally connected together and this side these two are connected together but there is no direct connection between this and this this and this and that you can check here as well using the multimeter like I am having the multimeter here so I am just setting the value like here so that I can check the continuity so whenever I will have a connection like direct connection so I will get a beep sound like this so for that let's check whether I am having a direct connection between these two or not. So touch one lead here, touch one lead here. 
so you are getting a beep sound that means these two are having an internal connection let's check these two as well these two are also having connection now let's check these okay let's do one thing just remove the connections see there is no direct connection in here but here there is direct connection so whenever i will just press this button i will get a direct connection in between both so accordingly i will get a signal in node mcu and further this node mcu will give us command to turn this led on and when this node mcu will not get any signal that means you do not have to turn the led on so this will work like that so this is the complete interfacing of your node mcu with a push button now let's go back and start with the program so we are done with the interfacing of node mcu with push button so now it's time to write a program for this connection which we have done and let's start writing the code so that we can control the led connected using a push button which we are interfacing in our today's session so let's go to ardiano id and let's start writing a program so this was a program for your blinking of led now it's time to write a program to control this blinking or you can say to control the led using the push button which we have just connected to node mcu so now let's write this program in a new file so i'm just creating a new file i have used the shortcut as control plus n which is a new file shortcut so now you are having two functions which is the setup and the loop setup is to define the pins or to write the code which will be run only once and the loop is to write the program which needs to be run repeatedly so for that let's do write the code for this so we have the code on your screen so here what we have done is we have just defined the pins like d3 as an input and d4 as an output a d3 we are using to connect our push button to pin number d3 so that whenever i will press the button and accordingly uh, my led should turn on and off and accordingly i am using this pin number d4 where my led is connected so that i can control that led so input means you are just taking an input or you can say your node mcu is taking an input from push button and accordingly you are just sending an output or you can say your node mcu will send an output to led so that your led should glow or it should turn off so it will work like that so after that i have to go inside the loop function so that i can set the task which i have to perform inside my today's task so my task is to just read the state from your push button so as you know your push button will only give you two outputs whether high or low or you can say whether the button is pressed or the button is not pressed that means you are having only two states and accordingly you can just control your led right so we are going to do only two tasks either to turn on the led or to turn off the led so we are having these two functions which i have to perform so for that firstly i need to just read the state of my button so i can make the comment so i am just reading the state of my button so for that i am just writing int which is a integer type of data type and accordingly i am just taking a variable name which is button which will store the output coming from my input device which is a push button which i have connected to node mcu and accordingly i am writing digital read open the bracket and close the bracket and within that bracket i am just passing the pin number to which my button is connected or you can say from where you are going to take the input to node mcu so here i am just reading the value of d3 in the digital format so i have just written digital read so it will just give me either 0 or 1 so after that my task is to check that what output i am getting at the current state like suppose if my button will give me a output as 1 so in that case what i will do i will just perform this task which is to turn the led on so button equals to equals to 1 means i am just pressing the button and accordingly i am just turning the led on and if i will not press the button then 
what task it will perform if i will not press the button that means it will just turn your led off so if you are sending a low signal here that means you are just turning the led on and if you are sending a high signal that means you are just turning the led off so this is the task which we are performing in this session so your task is done now just do one thing just upload this program to node mcu so for that just select the board and port my node mcu is already selected and com board is also selected because i have already connected the node mcu to my system so in that case you are just getting the port number as com7 so now just upload the program so just upload this so you are done with the uploading of your program now a next task is to just check that whether you are getting the correct output or not so let's just check that so now your program is uploaded to your node mcu successfully now let's check whether your program is working or not so for that just press the button i'm pressing the button and my led got turned on and i'm removing it now so my led turns off again let's try this on off on off so you can do it very fast as fast as you want so this is the way how you are going to control your led so this is the way how you have connected and control your led using the push button and similarly there are different switching devices as well which can be used to control the same kind of output devices like we have done in our today session which was the blinking of led or you can say just the turning on or the turning off of the led so these were the things which we have covered and now let's have a short summary for all the things that we have covered in our today session so firstly we have just covered the programming session in which we have just understood that how to write a program to just blink the led using the arduino ide for node mcu and after that we were just got a problem the problem was that we were just writing the code and that code was sent to the node mcu and the code were being repeatedly run again and again and your led was being turned on and off on and off on and off and this process repeated again and again and for a infinite time right so in that case what we wanted we just wanted to control this led manually so that whenever i will just press the button my led should turn on whenever i will not press the button my led should turn off so i just wanted to do that so in that case what i got is i got a switching device one of them was the push button so i was using that and accordingly we have just interfaced that with the node mcu and after that we have just written the code for that and we have done all the things which you have seen in our today session and you know what we have done we have just control the led whenever we are just pressing the button and we are not pressing the button and accordingly we are just turning it on and turning it off so this was the thing which we have covered in our today session and this was it for your today session i hope everything is clear to you very well but still if i was not able to clear all of your doubts don't hesitate just leave a comment in the comment section so that i can clear all your doubts at the earliest but this was not it for your node mcu we are having lot more thing to cover in our node mcu sessions so if you have liked this video just click a like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any of my videos and related to the topic which you want to cover and also you can suggest me if you want a videos of your kind as well so that i can surely make some kind of a videos according to your requirements and till then bye bye and thanks for watching this video